Hi there! It is Saturday afternoon and I am just gonna do my next Manny because I have been like a few days without anything on my nails, which isn't like me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I'm starting with this purple glitter. This is the Retired set. Um, every day I'm sparkling, I believe. But I am going to do my first attempt at an ombre mani where I ch turn the side of a standard ombre set like 90 degrees so that it is um, like the gradation from ombre is going to go this way across my nails. So I'm going to start with purple. And I'm using the new, um, no, now I'm forgetting the name of it. I'm gonna have to look at the package. I totally blanked on the name. It's from the anniversary collection. It's one of the new sets. Dawn something, something, something. Anyway, we just got back from puppy training class. We have a six month, almost six month old crack of dawn. That's what it's called. Totally blanked on that. We have a new six month old puppy named Oliver. He is a fluffy Pembroke Corgi, tri-colored. So he is mostly black with some tan and white. Well, his belly's white and his top is tan or er, black. And then he has tan markings. So um, that's what they call a tri-color. But he is starting his, we had a second class of his, of dog obedience one and he had kind of a rough day today he was pretty tired he and didn't um he actually fell asleep for a little bit in class which is not his norm at puppy class with like 10 other dogs or nine other dogs but we have stuff to work on all week with him and then he we had a night with him because last night when we were we has he has a what is that called? He has a toy thing that like is plastic. It's called a tornado and it's like plastic bone shaped flat pieces that have little like holes that we can put treats in and then you can hide the treats under these little covers. So this is the part I'm going to have to try to work on. I've never done this before. So we're going to have to see it's turning the strip sideways. I have no idea how that's going to work. So we will just, I am just going for this. Um, maybe I should start on my left hand because I've never done this before. Eh, maybe I will. Okay, so he has this tornado. So it's like corgis and I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of other like smart dog breeds that are like, they're pretty smart and they need like, mental stimulation, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, hold on, I wanna make sure I line that up, okay? So I'm doing this sideways, which I haven't, don't have a lot of practice. I've never done this before, so bear with me, cause I actually wanna save the strip, I wanna save the rest of the strip if I can. So, hold on, I'm going to need more light, so let's put some light on here. I hope that doesn't mess up the camera. But, uh, for those of you who don't know me, by the way, I'm Shannon. So, I, um, and I am working on these little uh, flax bags and rice bags to keep my fingers warm because I have a vent nearby under the desk that blows on me and I get pretty chilly and my, na my hands get cold. So I'm going to try to cut this with my finger as close. So I need to use that other part of that. So I'm going to keep put that to the side. I think that worked pretty good. I have never tried this before. So the look that I'm going for is the ombre between my fingers, like from one nail to the other is the gradation. So, okay. Sorry, I'm talking about like a million different things, but just wanted to explain a couple things. Ooh, I should show you guys the new sets I got too. 
which I will do after or between my layers because I'm going to do, I was thinking about throwing an overlay of the retired um, champagne sugar over Crack of Dawn. So let's let that cure a little bit like that. All right, so like I said, this is going to be the first time yet that I've done this. I think I'll just clean that up later. All right, so we're going to try to see if I can center this enough. I should have used because that's not going to give me enough of this strip left. So let's see if I can remove that. I wonder if I have something else I can use for that middle nail. I might have to look and see what I have because I want to save this to make sure I can use this colored ombre part on this finger. It left like, oh, I know why. I have, I forgot, I can't believe I peeled up. I have, um, what's it called? I have nail strengthener on my nails from the other day. So that's what the little, it was pulling up, which I didn't even, I forgot about. Let's see if I can cut this with my wood stick. All right. All right. So anyway, we were at puppy class just a little bit ago. It wasn't our best class, but... Um, Oliver had a rough night. So he has this tornado toy that is multiple, I think it's three layers of like trays and they all sit on top of each other and they rotate. And then there's like a cover that spins and rotates above it. And then there's places for treats and, oh, that's too narrow. I was hoping that little place would be enough. So we're gonna have to take, I wonder if the, um, tie the knot is going to be a good middle part of this. We're going to have to grab that. So I will wait till I finish the two ombre. I think I'll do the two ombre nails on the other side and then look at my options. Tie the knot might work because it's white and it's that same shimmer finish. as Crack of Dawn. So, all right, so Oliver's little to toy, he has, he's a smarty pants. He had figured out he can finally, he can get the toys out really easily now, or the snack, the treats out really easily. So the kids kind of like rig it so it's harder to get out. Um, But now, the other day, he started flipping the whole toy over and then chewing on the little bottom, his little feet, and he got a f the little rubber... It looks like a rubber stopper that kind of makes the little feet of of the toy. And of course, he chewed on it and grabbed the, um, ooh, that's kind of cool, sideways. Um, and grabbed the little feet and he ate, we couldn't get it out of his mouth, and he ate one of these little stoppers little rubber stopper things and it was kind of like gagging on it for a while which is concerning and then he um but he was able to eat and drink and then he has um at 5 30 this morning he woke up and he th was throwing up a little bit not like anything like food but just like 
I don't know if it was like bile or like whatever that stuff in your stomach is. I'm assuming dogs have the same like bile stuff in their stomachs, but yeah, sorry, not the pleasant talk topic to talk about. But so he was up at 5:30, and then again at 7:30, and he and I called the emergency vet because I'm a little concerned. But um, we're watching him because also the emergency vet is very very expensive. Um, but we are watching him. He was able to eat and drink and go and going to the bathroom like normal. So that's a really good sign. So we're just keeping our eye on him and watching carefully, hoping I don't have to bring him in over the weekend. And then that we can at least last till Monday when I can call his regular vet. Because, of course, all these things ha always happen on a weekend when the regular vet is closed. And we know from experience with our first dog, before we had kids, how expensive the emergency vet is. So we try to avoid that if we can, if we possibly can. So we don't have that kind of extra money, but if we have to, we will. So I'm hoping he does not get any sicker, but he, um, hoping he can pass that little rubber piece. So that's the little problems about puppies is they eat everything and he's quick runs away from us if we try to get stuff from him. Okay. I'm gonna just keep this folded over and let that cure. Cause that looks good like that. And I'm gonna use the other side for my other, my pointer finger. Wait, yeah, I gotta do it this way. a weird way to put it on. I feel like it's going sideways so it's all gonna be a little trickier to get smooth on this nail of mine. Let's see, this nail is so curvy. Putting it on sideways is not my norm, so I'm a little... Well, there, I got it pretty good. I'm just gonna... Oh, of course, I folded it and made that crease myself. That was silly of me. All right. Let's fold this. Smush that down as much as I can. And then I'll come in with the orange stick and cut it more. Oh, that did cut part of this. All right. So I wanted to get my nails done this afternoon instead of tonight because I always work at night and it gets really late and then I run out of energy to stay up and do with my nails. Oh, I kind of ripped that a little too much. Oops. That's okay. So I, um, this afternoon or the early evening tonight, we are going as a family and doing a VR experience all together. So my daughter, my youngest actually, my youngest child actually has a VR or we have a VR as a family, but our youngest is the one who uses it the most. So we actually have a VR headset, so it's called the Oculus Quest, but, and it's like really cool, but it says only one person can use it at a time. So this is a VR experience thing at the mall, at one of the malls around here, and not cheap, but it, it's a fun little thing um, that we wanted to try as a family where we all four get to go into a VR experience together and like fight bad guys. We're doing some Star Trek one. Um, all right, let me look for, before I do my thumb, I don't have, so what color is that middle thing? Hold on a second. Let's see. Is it the same? It's probably not exactly the same as tie the knot. 
but I think I'm going to use it. Because I don't know what else to use. So I actually have to open this set. So just a second. So I guess if you're new to Color Street, I'll show you what's in a full set. Sorry, I just had, this isn't, so some of the packages come with the, that are hand packaged, they're in a little sleeve, and they're not like sticky, they don't use the little gummy stuff to stick it down, but then some are machine packaged and use the little gummy stuff, so I like to take off and save my files for samples for people, so if you have a, if you're somebody new to Color Street and haven't tried, um, drop me a comment and I can send you a sample. I can contact you or friend me on Facebook or uh, find me on, join my VIP group. We can communicate that way as well and I can send you a sample. Or if you have somebody that would like a sample that has never tried Color Street. So I just take all that gunky stuff off and then just toss the package. So this is what a full set looks like. I like to cut it open on the opposite end of the name so that I can reseal them back up in the package with the original name. So I just need one of each of these. Oh, maybe I'll double. Well, I'm gonna do a top coat. Or a, um, I'm going to do a clear overlay on these, so. I think I'll just do a single layer. And I just get these smaller. And I'll stick these back in here. And then later on I go and I reseal. I heat seal these using a flat iron. That is not something that is um, approved of or recommended from the company. These are a one-time use product. So once, because once you open these up, they will, um, they, the, because they're 100% nail polish, they'll actually start to, they start to dry out as soon as you open them and leave them out. So you don't want to leave them exposed to air, otherwise they will dry out and won't be sticky for you anymore. Because each set comes 90, this is really sheer, I forgot how sheer it was. I might have to double it. 90, what was it, 95% dry or something like that. And then um, the polish that's on the back side is just what's not... Um, not the, the part that's still wet and that's what you stick down to your nails and actually I might like it more sheer because then my color of my nail might show through and I think that might be a fun won't be so as white okay so actually I'm going to keep that so I normally how I do them is this way where I cut Line it up at the base of my nail as close to my cuticle as I can without overlapping the skin. And then I smooth it out and I cut the ends with my, um, with my thumbnail. This got a little fold in it, so we'll see how that looks. Oh, we'll see if that messed up part is going to show through on my underneath. I don't think it will. Okay, so this is a very sheer set. So a lot of people use this over other colors to create a new kind of shimmery frost, frosted color. Uh, you can also use it doubled if you want more of a white, a more of an intense color. But I actually like it just like it is, because I'm gonna put I'm gonna put glitter probably on all of these. Okay, so let's see, that one came off. I don't think I cut this yet. Sorry, I'm just trying to clean up the underneath of some of these and then we will get out finish, finish my thumb with the purple glitter every day I'm sparkling and then um, add I'm adding um, 
Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to be careful on this. I only have one thumbnail left. This is a set that I've already used for my pedicure. I used a, thing, a regular standard set of this to put on my toes, which takes up a lot of my bigger, the bigger nails, um, which is fine, except I have, oops, we're just going to keep it there. It's not as close to my th I didn't quite line it up as close to my cuticles as I should have, but that's okay. Um, it's probably for the best because I, most of the time, it's really tight for me to get two thumbnails done with one strip like I did on my middle fingers. So it's just a little bit. I should take this off, hold on. It's so much wider at the bottom, I'm gonna do that. And put it on this way, and then just clean up the excess. Then it has better coverage down below. Okay, I'm at the base of my nail. So, let me just smooth this out. I use this rubber cuticle pusher to get a nice, strong adhesion of the strip to the nail bed and to smooth out any little wrinkles. I like to tuck it under my nail a little bit. And then I come in with, sorry, with the flat part of my orange stick and I score, basically scoring the strip along where my uh, my nail shape or my cuticle is like right above that here. I'm trying to so I'll peel that off. Try not to use my thumb on the other side to pick at stuff. Try not to use my thumbnail at least. Oops, of course I ripped that a little bit. No, oh, no, I just, let me see. Okay, that's pretty good. Got a little, I get little pieces stuck to my fingers. When I clean up the edges and I have to be careful because it gets stuck under other strips. So I'm gonna add Champagne Sugar, which is one of my favorite glitter to the three nails in the middle. So, oh, hopefully I have enough. I actually didn't look at this ahead of time. Hopefully I have enough left here. So, let's see. This is what I have left. Oh yeah, that's plenty. So, I'm going to use these three and save those for later. I hope I can get these all done with this. I'm gonna add, just gonna put these away here. I'm just gonna slide in my leftover champagne sugar with my tie the knot here before I move on. I like to keep them back in the package and then I cover them up. Um, so they're not quite as opened and exposed to the air. Oh, it's getting caught. Because it's curvy. Here. Alright. Alright, I just jam them under my laptop to stay not so much in the air and then all right so let's just start with these and i'm gonna layer oh my hell i didn't clean this up sorry hold on i want to do that quick okay 
So now I'm going to come in. I'm not going to put it over the um, Everyday I'm Sparkling because it's already glitter, but I wanted to make these other nails glitter as well. So I'm going to add a glitter, clear glitter overlay. Sorry, I'm cleaning up that little. So I'm using this anchor trick so I don't have to touch the strips as much. Especially with the glitter or the overlays or the clear backing, I like to um, keep them on the paper back and not handle them quite as much. So I'm just adding a little pop of glitter to these three middle nails. And then I actually took out another clear nail art thinking I was going to add it, but I don't know if I'm going to. I want to see what these look like when I'm done. That's the one thing too, is if you just kind of try stuff that you haven't um, seen before, you are not exactly sure how it's going to look. I wonder if I, I haven't seen this exact Manny. I'm not, not saying it's not out there, but I just haven't seen it myself. I'm gonna trim off this. All right, I think it should be cut. I just can't, oh, there. Okay. See how it adds that glitter to it. I have a little bump that I wanna try to smooth out before I put my next nail on. I'm going to save that curvy one for my curvy finger. All right, take that plastic, the clear plastic layer off first. Always remember to do that. I could take the I like to take the tab off right away too. So I have that double ended strip because most of the time I can get two Nails done with one strip. You don't have to do it that way. You have 16 uh, strips in every package, so you have plenty to work with. If you uh, don't want to or can't or forget or mess up one end and can't get two nails with one strip, or if your nails are just too long, I keep my nails fairly short, so I can do that. That's not actually why I keep them short but I keep them short because I like them shorter. My nails, the, the longer they get, the more curvy they curve this way, side to side, and it's, I don't like it, it bugs me. And it actually is harder to cut them as they get longer because the curve is so much. Um, but I have, I've always had very strong nails. And, um, I have fairly decent or fairly long nail beds, so I can keep them short lengthwise and it still has plenty of nail bed. <gasps> oh, I love that. Okay, I'm loving this. I like how this is working. So it's always nice when what you're doing is turning out and sometimes that doesn't happen, especially when you're doing like mixed manis is what we call this, where you're kind of mixing more than one set together. Um, and then that was, to, this was the first time I turned a set on its side like that. I have seen it done many times, but you, ha I had to turn, I had to use both of the largest thumb the largest strips, which I usually save for my thumbs, um, for that in order to do that. And it was wide enough, or was able to get two fingers done that way, the two on each side, so four, I guess, um, with the two biggest strips, turning them sideways so they're wide enough. If you have long nails, that sideways methods probably wouldn't work. If you have short nails or shorter nail beds, the sideways method might work with other strips, not just the big thumb one. So it just depends on everybody's nails are different lengths and your nail beds are different lengths. So you kind of have to play around depending on what uh, how the size of your nails, I guess. So I was able to do 
four nails turned to get the ombre to go side to side on four nails with my, the two thumb strips. So, so now I have this ombre look that goes from the purple. So the idea was to be purple with the gradation from purple to kind of orange to yellow to this really pale white and then back the other way. So that is how they ended up. I think I'm going to keep them this way for now. I was thinking of adding like an accent of of the palm. This is Palm Before the Storm. This is the old retired kind of palm tree overlay. There is a new one called Palm Down that's a little bit different. Um, but I think I actually like it how it is for now. Maybe I'll add an accent, but I feel like then the ombre look would go away some. So, I don't know. Let me know in the... Maybe I'll take some nail fees with this and keep these for a couple days, and then I'll add the the, the little um, palm tree accent. So, let me know if what you think, if you think I should add it or not. All right, take care. Bye-bye.